Hi, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. Today's tutorial is five ways to support your camera and lens for sharper images. The first way to hold your camera so you can get a sharper image is if you're shooting horizontally, you want to make sure that your hand is out far on the lens like this, and you want to make sure that your elbows aren't like this, but your elbows are locked in tight against your body. So this is going to get you a sharper image, just like this, elbows tucked in tight against the body, your hand far out on the lens, forehead against the camera, tight squeeze on the camera body with the hand grip, and you're going to get a sharper image because you're dampening any vibration when the mirror flips up and you're holding your camera steady, you'll get a sharper image. So the second way to hold your camera is if you're trying to shoot vertically, don't shoot like this with your elbow out, and that's pretty much everybody's tendency, or they do it this way, right? So they just rotate their elbow, turn the camera, but this is flapping in the wind and it makes it easy to get an out of focus image. So instead of doing this, just do this. Tuck both elbows in, rotate the camera the other way. When you first do this, it's going to be a little bit awkward, but this is going to get you a sharper image. Okay, so the third technique to get a sharp image and support your camera is if you're doing flight photography, take the lens foot off. You'll notice in the last two segments, I had the lens foot on the top. And I'll do that if, I go, if I'm going between using the tripod or hand holding. But if I'm just going out for flight photography, I'll just take the lens foot off. It's pretty easy to take off. You loosen up the screw and you twist it and pull it back off. But if I do it this way, I can get my hand out far on the lens. I can get my elbows in. I can get my forehead against the eye cup and I can have a nice stable platform for birds and flight photography. So the fourth technique to getting a sharp image with your camera and your lens is to always use big lens technique. Whenever you have a camera on the tripod, just press down on the top of the lens, press your forehead into the back of the camera, you have a tight grip on it, you're going to dampen any micro vibrations that happen and you're going to get a sharper image. Well, if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know I'm a big proponent of point of view and getting low and getting eye level with the bird. So sometimes that means just sitting down. And so the fifth technique today is if you're sitting down, you still want to do everything we've talked about. Put your hand out far on the lens, get your camera cup right on, the, right on your forehead, and then get your elbows and dig your elbows into your legs and get a nice solid stance like this when you're sitting down. And you're going to get a sharper image. If you enjoy what I'm doing on my channel, give me a like or a subscribe. Share this with your friends as well. They might want to learn more about bird photography. If you're a beginning or intermediate bird photography, this channel is for you. You can also get a copy of my book that helps support the channel. The book, Learn the Art of Bird Photography, is available on Amazon as a Kindle and as a trade paperback. It's been trending as a number one bestseller. You can also get a copy of the book on my website, timboyerphotography.com, and I will autograph it for you and ship it out to you priority mail. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Good shooting. Bye.